Is the get action more just spontaneous? Are you trying to accomplish something out of that? You'd be surprised how easy and well it works at his level. So I know for a fact you would crush it at your level. Listen, here's my belief in this next one. It's kind of considered a higher level thing, but I think it's very simple. And I think personally, younger players should master this because you'd be surprised how easy and well it works at his level. So I know for a fact you would crush it at your level. Does that make sense? And it's what we call, there's two parts. There's a get action, which can be a few different things, but we're gonna do it out of a DHO, which is a dribble handoff. Does that make sense? Okay, Tim's Derek. Now, Jakob might fly, flash up to the high post. Come on. And so, and he's open, so, so Tim slash Derek's gonna look to feed him. Okay, now, obviously, Trey could go score right here, right? But is this always open? A lot of times, this is easy, one of the easiest things to jam up is that high post, right? They don't want anything really scoring from the high post because it's too easy to score here, right? It's yes, I'm here on Tim, but once that happens, don't I have to sag off to help, right? I can't stay blind to what he's doing over here with the ball. I gotta open up and play help, which softens me up, doesn't it? Right, they call that soft enough. So what Tim will do is the second he passes over here, he'll immediately go get the ball back. And that's where the get action comes in at. Does that make sense? Okay, it's a pass right into an action, right? Okay, now what Jakob or Trey may do here is sometimes, depending on where he's at, it's probably a little more high post, more higher, is he may just sit here and let him run off. Or to create a better angle, he may take a dribble and go meet him. That's where the DHO, which is an acronym for dribble handoff, comes in. Everybody with me on that? Yes, no? Okay. And then what happens is because I'm, I'm softening up because I had to open up when Trey got the ball, right? Now Tim goes, he gets rid of me fast. A lot of times I'm a step behind. We get a shot, we turn the corner, or everything collapses on the ball, and that, that opens Jakob or Trey up real well. Does everybody understand that? Okay. Derek. Is the get action more just spontaneous? Are you trying to accomplish something out of that? Or are you, are you thinking, I know you, you guys have some plays that have just get actions already designed in them, but a lot of them are more kind of on the fly. What are your thoughts as you go through that? Me personally, I'm looking to get downhill. Um, as as I throw it, I'm, I'm thinking downhill, attack the basket, because the big's gonna be, he's stationary right now, guarding the, the ball. If he's not, or if he takes a step over, then it's a layup for Jakob. So I'm thinking downhill. Y'all got that? So sometimes it's just knowing your strengths as well, like we talked about with the setup move, right? He knows that he wants to go turn and, and put pressure here because he creates more, right? And like he said, Patty and Belly, what do they do a lot of? Shooting. That's just kind of their natural strength, right? Maybe even Brennan in that situation. So they're probably looking for that shot, and especially a lot of times too. This guy's a step behind. He can't get over the top. He's got to go under and play that. Does that make sense? Yes, no? Okay, so watch. Here's how the drill's going to work. So we'll have a line of balls there, which is just Tim right now. Trey's here on the block. Now listen, just like those L cuts we did this morning, you are going to sprint. You're going to get here. Now look what I do. I open up and show my numbers. If I'm here like this with my back to the basket and he's trying to deny, cover my numbers, am I going to be able to catch this? No, right? So when I get to this point, I'm gonna plant and I'm gonna open up. That way, if he wants to put a lot of pressure, I don't think you'd wanna do that because then that's gonna happen. All right, I like that. He's gonna sit down though, right? But now I can get the ball here. Plus, now I'm already set up to go right into the DHO with Tim. Does everybody understand that? Okay, so Trey's gonna flash. Tim's gonna give him a strong, aggressive pass. Open up, put your numbers to him. Quick little setup, good. And we're out. And then, like he said, like Derek said, we're, we're, we're looking for our strengths, right? So if you want to get behind this screen right here and shoot it, right? Because the other thing is they're not just going to hand off. They're also going to try to screen that guy if he's available, right? So here you can get behind the screen and shoot it. Or if you want to be like Derek, you can turn the corner and go get you a bucket at the rim.